All right, Tovin, give me a tactical analysis. Oh, he doesn't talk here. The Cardassians are most likely using the magnetic fluctuations in this area to hide their privateer operations. Our sensors were able to pick a, out a nearby satellite and a station located in the asteroid belt. I've marked the location of them both on the tactical map. And we need to approach... Recommend we stay cloaked as we approach the station, sir. Alright, cloak. Actually not a bad idea, that way they don't catch us. In addition to the magnetic interference, the Cardassians have mined the asteroids with the defensive turrets. This satellite appears to be a target array and fire controller for those turrets. We may be able to access the satellite's programming, but there is a chance that if we do, we'll alert the Cardassians. And activate the uh, satellite. I successfully activated the control layer within the satellite's operational routines. The satellite is sending commands to several defensive turrets. We may be able to uh, insert a malicious, a malicious command that will disabilize or neutralize many of the turrets. What's your command? Yep, repro reprogram the turret recognition. The new programming routine has been successfully uploaded. Not all of the turrets in the air were susceptible, but we've softened the defenses between our ship and the Cardassian station. If we avoid the magnetic flux energy, we should be able to remain cloaked as we approach the station. Just keep out of range of the deals that we... Oh goody, impulse engines are offline. Awesome. Let's see if I can get through here without a fight. Ouch. Might help if I, might help if I speed up a bit. be a little bit sneaky here trying to get through these deals without them detecting us hopefully since I'm cloaked that will that will help once evasive maneuvers comes back I'll probably try using that as well I don't know. That didn't seem to. That didn't seem to give me a lot of uh, turrets on my side. Oh, actually, there is one down here that uh, that I noticed. All right, let's speed up just a little bit. Yeah, those deals, uh, I'm guessing those deals probably detected my ship once I was forced to uncloak. Get these ships while we're, get these ships while we're, while they're, uh, disabled. Oh dear, this is like that mission in that was, this is like that mission with the Klingon uh that Klingon mission I did. For some reason my some reason my uh shield went down. Actually let's use that, give myself a little shield power here. That's something that my Klingon character or my Gorn character, my KDF character, didn't have. Is uh, the ability to give myself a little little more armor and such. Heavy plasma torpedo. I don't think I've ever fired one of those off before. Come on. Oh god, that torpedo. Well, that was most excellent. And I, and I don't mean that in a good way. 
Okay, I need to remember to get rid of that torpedo deal when I respawn. Because that thing, uh, that thing did quite the number on me. Oh, God. All the way back here. Yeah, I'm not really too fond of these deals where it disables your, uh, not really too fond of these deals. Oh. Great. Not really too fond of these deals where it disables your, a, uh, disables your, a, uh, speed. Else is attacking me. Thank you. All right, you need to go. Take care of that torpedo deal. That let's take care of the torpedo deal, so it does not destroy my ship again. Oh great! Here come the. Yep, there go the. That was close. That could have been bad. Okay, let me rephrase that. That could have been worse. Since I've already blew up once in this mission. Now there's a deal somewhere down here. I think it's actually... I'm not entirely too sure. Ah. There we go. Let's see. We've crippled the station's defenses, but it's only a matter of time before they summon reinforcements. A Republic Warbird is being held in the station's dock, and scans indicate that at least some of the crew are being held in the station's brigs. The station commander is hailing us. You'll pay for your interference. Your brazen attack on this station is further proof that the Romulan Republic is nothing more than a terrorist cabal. We've contacted the legitimate Romulan government and the and alerted them to your presence. Any further acts of terror against this station or any Cardassian citizen will be bet with deadly force. Yes, release the Republic ship and her crew. Your ignorance of Cardassian history is insulting. We do not listen to demands. We give them. Alright, uh, close the channel. Get me a location for the Rom Romulan crew. The crew is being held in a detention area on the station's outer ring. The area is provided the area is shielded to prevent transport, and we need to get the crew to their ship. The station operates on several fusion reactors located at the base of the central core. If we configure a deflector to emit a high amplitude electromagnetic waves, it will disrupt the inertial lasers in their reactors. The safety protocols will cause a temporary power shutdown. If we time it properly, there'll be a window of opportunity as the Cardassians switch to backup power. We'll be able to transport the crew to their ship. And right. There we go, do that. And hail. We'll find a new home. I can assume we can thank you for our escape. Before you transported us, I overheard a guard saying that more Trueway ships were approaching. We need time to restore the emergency power. Please provide cover until we are able to go to warp. Uh, Cardassians? Oh, they're up. <laughs> they're right here, duh. Okay, 
Okay, I need to swing around because uh, letting, them, letting them attack the forward shield is not a good idea. Not entirely sure why my weapons aren't firing, or my aft torpedo, anyways. Well, we kept, yeah, we kept the killed in the distracted long enough. Now all we need to do is just uh, destroy it. Get some Ford power going up here. I can get close enough, I can actually do that. I was hoping, hoping to get the, uh, hoping to get the, uh, heavy torpedo to fire. Oh well, two photon torpedoes is good. Just a little bit more and we should get destroy this Kelden. Get the Republic ships out. And this torpedo should finish it off. Or not. Alright, no more no more Kardashian ships in in a range. So we completed the mission. We had a little... Oh. The Republic Warbird has warped to safety, sir. We will need to report to Sub-Commander Nadal and inform her of the Cardassian privateering operations in the sector. Recommend we leave the system before ad any additional Cardassian reinforcements arrive. Yep, we need to get out of here before any more Cardassians show up. That stupid torpedo deal. That was a little bit of a problem. I think it used... I can't remember what that ability is where it spreads the torpedoes. I think it's scatter volley, but I'm not too sure. Let's see, the bigger picture. Ah, excellent. I hope that your new starship has performed to your satisfaction. Now that we know about Sela's attempts to capture our ships, we'll order our commanders to exercise additional caution in territory near True Waste Base or other groups that might try their hand at privateering. I have received some new intelligence from our allies that may be of use, of it, use to us. Expect to hear from me shortly. And, uh, what do I want? Ooh, beam weapon. Cannon weapon. Torpedo weapon. Let's go with beam weapon. We have Congratulations, Centurion. Ooh, and I ranked up as well. Ooh, awesome. Anyways, I'm out of time. Well, actually, that's the end of the mission. So, when we come back, more Star Trek Online. Later.